In part 9, I introduced a modified dynamical systems model. Here, we'll see how the environment, goals, and people cannot be separated and how this produces friction. The definition of friction that we'll be using was developed by the Prussian theorist and soldier Karl von Clausewitz. His earliest known use of the term was to describe the effect of reality on ideas and intentions in war. In effect, friction is what separates theory from the real world. Then he notes that friction comes from two sources, the numerous chance events which touch everything, think of the environment, and the numerous difficulties that inhibit accurate execution of the precise plans that theory tends to formulate. This refers to other people. Now we'll take a shortened list of his sources for general friction and apply it to soccer. At the top of the list is danger, in short, fear. It can be an emotional, psychological, or physical barrier. It can grow slowly or overwhelm out of nowhere. Fear is a constant part of orientation and demands recognition. Second is physical exertion. Fatigue affects technical execution which limits tactical decisions. After a point, player productivity, quantity, and quality begins to decrease. Third is the timely quality and quantity of information that we get from the environment. We looked at this in the videos on observation. Once you get that timely, high quality information, you'll have to deal with your own team. Confusion, miscommunication, and so on is more the norm than the exception. Chance events play a continual role in decision making. Their random, unforeseeable nature demands implicit improvisation. Number six, the unpredictability of dynamic systems was introduced in part nine. Finally, there's the disconnect between the ends and means. When they don't match, it's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. From this taxonomy, we can generate two important questions. First, is friction a structural feature of the game or simply transitory? And second, is friction subject to controls? Considering there are no theories, systems, or models of the game that can eliminate people or chance, we have to conclude that friction is inherent and cannot be eliminated from the game. In the following friction videos, I'll sketch out how it can be influenced and why that's such a critical part in learning the game. Ramping up friction in your opponent's mind while reducing it in your own is a key survival skill and the path to getting inside their OODA loops.